Here's uh, here's Kent Sugarland, Texas. Great to have you on the EIB Network. Hi. Uh, Merry Christmas, Brush, to you and yours. And thanks for taking my call. You bet, sir. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Uh, the question I had is, is was uh, Hillary most likely to be the uh, nominee of the Democrats? Do you think we're going to have, a, uh, I guess, a reverse operation chaos? Where they're going to, Democrats are going to be voting in our open primaries and or else registering for Democrats, uh, I mean registering for Republicans, to uh, uh, mess up the Republicans. Primary. Well, let's say if, if if they did do that, who who would they be doing their own reverse Operation Chaos against? Well, I, I was thinking about that. I thought you'd ask that. I, it's either Jeb, because everybody stay home, or else maybe Trump, because they don't believe he has a chance. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that, that they would do their own reverse Operation Chaos, although it's possible because they were so bothered by it. They even made a movie about it, starring George Clooney. I didn't see it. Yeah, I think it was the <laughs> Ides of March or some such thing. And the first third of the movie was how the Democrat Party was so blown out of the water by Operation Chaos. They were paranoid of it. So I think they probably would engage in something. But but in, in, in truth, I think the, the greatest threat, well, hard to name one. I think the biggest problem, potential problem for Hillary and the Democrat and all those powerful forces is overconfidence. I think they're going to end up believing the polls that show that right now the only Republican that beats Hillary is Marco Rubio. And that's going to change. I think uh, presidential preference polls right now are a little premature. They're not that instructive because it's too far out. And we don't even really have nominees now. So it's just interesting trends and talking points for people that live and die with polls. But I don't think it tells us a lot. As opposed to the polls now in Iowa, New Hampshire, they're getting closer and closer to having uh, results that you can trust. Because we're close now. And the people voting in those Cockeye and the New Hampshire primary and so forth, they're thinking about it more seriously now. And if we get into January, it's going to be even more intense in that regard. But I think if um, Democrats, if, if Trump's a nominee, they, they think they're going to skate. And I think that they'll, they'll, they'll largely go into a uh, defensive posture. They'll have all their PACs running up or research trying to destroy whoever the Republican uh, nominee is. But it's uh, Operation Chaos... Reverse Operation Chaos. I don't know. I mean, if they tried it, we would spot it. Now, right off the bat, we would spot it. And The way Operation Chaos worked is the Democrats didn't know until it was too late that it was happening. Because they don't listen here. The Democrats do not listen to this program. They have, a, they have assigned a media watchdog outfit to listen to this program, Media Matters. And then Media Matters tells the media... And the Democrats, what supposedly is said by me on this program, and they always get it wrong. They make it up, take it out of context or what have you. 